Darlene, the U.S. has enacted FACTA legislation which will require the non-U.S. financial institutions to report their U.S. clients to the United States. How is this affecting other countries and their reporting requirements? Well, to be honest with you, it's not just the United States who is enacting this type of legislation. This is after the legislation was actually enacted, um, a number of a group of uh, people from the U.S. Treasury actually went to Canada and spoke to the Canadian government about this exact same type of legislation. And then they went to the United Kingdom, and then they went to Germany, and then France, and then Spain. Most countries are in the same position that the United States is in. They need money. The United States has decided not to increase taxes. They're going after broadening their entire tax base. And other countries are looking at the same type of legislation. Nobody is willing to allow their residents not to pay tax. And they see this FATCA legislation as the key to getting all of the financial institutions around the world to act as information gatherers. Darlene, what was your experience with the 2009 Voluntary Disclosure Program? And how do you think it's going to impact with the 2011 program? Well, first of all, we still haven't finished all of the audits under the 2009 Voluntary Disclosure Program. And I think the IRS agents um, went through a huge training session. Um, the, the IRS wasn't exactly sure, and the agents were, were not properly trained. I think the way the new 2011 program is, is developed is a lot more uh, structured. I think the agents are better trained. I think it'll move a lot smoother. But to be honest with you, I, I still have my reservations on this. I think I would have no problem sitting down and talking to people with the new voluntary disclosure program. But would I put everyone through the new program? Uh, that's a big question. That is a big question. Because under the new program, the agents have no discretion whatsoever to be able to discuss reasonable cause, non-willful intent, and when you have an American, first of all, who didn't even know he was an American or even had to have these, these type of filing, and, you know, filing requirements, um, I think there's reasonable cause that they shouldn't be hit with these type of penalties, especially if they've never lived in the United States in their entire life. You know, so so I, I think there's a, a reason for people to go through the voluntary disclosure program. I think there's a reason for people to go through voluntarily and disclose and actually put forth their, their returns and file. Um, but as, as far as whether they will actually go through the structured program or not, that's a big issue. That's a big issue.